Hey everybody! Welcome to another first visit video tour for the new design, 2018 design of Diorama, Diorio's DioramaWorkshop.com. Uh, but you can leave out the Diorio, which is me, and just call it DioramaWorkshop.com when you type it in. Um, we are going today at uh, one of the uh, section menu sections that most of you are going to be coming to the site to visit, which is the tutorials uh, menu. Uh, the tutorials menu is the core of where you will find everything that you need in order to build my dioramas that you see. I just did a verb. <laughs> I don't know if you heard it or not. Maybe I shouldn't have said anything because you didn't hear, but now you knew. Now you know I did a big burp. <laughs> Anyhow, okay, so I'm recording this as if it, well, I am doing a live recording of the screenshot. I could start over and re edit. I'm ranting on now, but I'm going to keep it because that's my personality and that's how it goes. So there you go. So we're going to tutorials today and uh, we're, um, you're going to be able, you're going to be finding speed index which we'll go into uh, later you're going to have the making of section with it which is the making of step by steps of all of the dioramas that uh, you can um, want to build diorio decals that's free decal downloads diorio blueprints that's all my free blueprints diorio video making of this is what i'm going to be working on more and more of but there's a few already on this uh, YouTube channel. And then uh, art supply material lists of what you need in order to build every single diorama. So when you click, the page we're on at the moment is um, when you click here on the tutorials menu, this, this word here brings you to this page, uh, which is basically you could read dis descriptions of different things. All of these buttons that you see here are links to this, their particular sub menu, subcategory. So um, you can either use that or you could use your link over here. So this, uh, what you see here is Star Wars Episode 1, Star Wars Episode 2, Star Wars, Empire Strikes Back, Return of the Jedi, and then the Speed Index. Uh, there's no episode 3 and there's no episode 9 or Rogue One or anything because I haven't done any dioramas from those movies yet. If there were uh, tutorials from other movies, if I say I was going to do an Aliens tutorial, then it would be in this menu as well. So the first thing you want to do is go to tutorials, pick the movie that you want to build, and uh, then you will go from there. Uh, before we do that, though, I just want to say in case you haven't check the other videos and those who have I'm sorry to repeat myself but if you're using a phone or an iPad or tablet to uh, visit uh, dioramaworkshop.com there's good chances that this top menu is blank you won't see anything here so you're going to go like where how do I navigate you navigate through these three little buttons here you press that this will bring a pull down of everything that you see here everything that you see here all the links are located in this pull down that appears it doesn't show when i do it here because i'm on my my desktop but when you click on that on your phone or your tablet you'll see what i mean so if we go here now obviously there are some movies that i've done more work or more dioramas than others i've done dioramas from certain movies that i haven't yet uploaded all of the stuff where it's supposed to be. I'm in the process of doing that, so you have to bear with me. There will be new updates uh, daily, weekly, and in months to come and years to come. And when I catch up with all of this, then I'm going to start working on new uh, scenes uh, to either at your request or scenes that I've been wanting to do for my own celebration convention designs that I've never had time to build at home or, or whatever. So that's what that is. So you might click on oh, I want to build a scene from episode one. And if I say, okay, let's click on that since I'm talking about it. So if you click on episode one, then you go down here and you could see that this is what's available for episode one at the moment. Uh, are these available tutorials? Now, the thing is, um, okay, I'm getting... I'm maybe ping pong or repeat myself when we go to other pages and stuff because these will. This is a good way though to show you how these category buttons 
change from page to page depending on what is on the page or not. So, for example, blueprints, you have decals and making of. So if you click, say that you wanted to download a blueprint, you click on blueprint. At this moment in episode one, there's only one blueprint available, which is for the Tatooine moisture evaporators. If you click blueprint twice, it brings back all the other categories. If I click on decals, I can see there's three available decals. There's decals for the moisture evaporators, there's decals for the Jedi Council skyline, and there's decals for the Theed Core wall panels. If I go to making of, the only making of that I have at the moment that I uploaded is the Gungan Sacred Head, sac Sacred Head, Sacred Head, or Sacred Place. <coughs> Excuse me, my throat is all dry again. I have to drink some water. Eventually, if I'll click two times on this. <clears throat> so, say for the moisture evaporators, you have blueprints for the evaporators here. You have the decals for the evaporators here. In essence, eventually there will be a making of for the evaporators, which I haven't uploaded yet, but I have the photos and everything for it. That would appear here or somewhere else. So, you will have making of, decals, blueprints, material lists, all available for all the builds so that they all work in tandem one with the other. Some say for the Gungan sacred place, there's no decals because it was just mostly, if I click on it just to show you, it, it um, it's mostly sculptures and different things. Um, here you can see that this is a diorama that I made when I was hosting my original site, which is nyamnyamsuniverse.com. That's why I call this the classic series. And here's my little mascot that I had of myself. I had put my face in little Ewok action figure. All of the pages, regardless if it's a classic Nyam Yev series or a new diorama or a Star Wars celebration diorama, you always have this, this featured image here, which shows you the movie it's from. This is from episode one, the title of the diorama that you're building, and then the making of instructions rating. So you have A for advanced, you have B for beginner, and C for child. So C obviously is the easier one, so you can use this. It's not a definite guide, but it's just to let you know, like, based on the amount of hours and skills that it takes, that it took me to make it, that I kind of, like, estimate a little bit. You know, it doesn't mean that a child can't make this diorama with the help of his father or something, but I don't think a five-year-old would want to take the time to spend 60 hours sculpting this head thing. <laughs> It was a lot of fun for me because I had never done it, but anyhow. So this goes to this shows you all of the different photos in the gallery. So you so you can see how you have like all the different steps, step by step instructions. And so if you click on click on one photo, so you can see step twenty four, step twenty five, step twenty six, and so on. And so that is the images on these are not as high because it was from the old site that I had to grab it that's why there's the extra frame and all these little things but anyway uh we're just talking about a first visit video guide here to sort of like help you with the nav navigation of the site um so this shows you you know how it is for this one if i go to tutorials say we go to anyway what i was trying to explain with this is that if you go say like okay to episode two i think there's nothing at the moment i did a palpatine's uh office okay the, the oh episode two there's the tuscan tents and moisture evaporators because there's tatooine again just so that you can refine the different uh, diorama features from one planet to another um so you can say that this one is there's not as much because not as much has been made. But if you go, say, if we click on Star Wars, for example, which I think is the one that I have the most. Um, so if I go down, if we scroll down, so you see this is all that's available at the moment in the Star Wars. So as you can see, there's a lot. And if you're looking for, say, only decals, then you have to like read through each of the things and it gets confusing. That's why the category the uh, buttons are really cool so again see you have materials making of decals and blueprints so materials wasn't in the other page that we looked at because there was no materials available for episode uh, one 
Um, and to be honest, this is, I only have one, I think, that I made because it's just sort of like a list of different materials. I will eventually put them all so that you can have a list and easier for you to build, but it, you can still make the diorama without any of that. So if you click, again, Blueprints, shows you all the blueprints available, Death Star, Large Blast Door, Small Blast Door, Moisture Evaporator, Basic Hallways, Decals, these are free decals that you have available to you. See, these are decals for the Falcon Docking Bay, Small Blast Doors, Large Blast Doors, Basic Console, Princess Leia Secret Plans, Moisture Evaporator. So these, eventually, as time goes by, if you're watching this video in the future, there might be more of these. Hopefully, there should be more that will be installed from the time that I created this video because I will be uploading more and more as time goes by. So this is just to show you an idea of what that looks like. Then if you want to go to making of, then this is the actual making of steps that you can uh, uh, use to create. Now you can see different things like here's the rating C child, rating B for beginner because you have more intricate shapes. Here's a rated A because the docking bay has over 300 step-by-step -step photos. So again, the f thing that's fun about these are the category where you click one time and it brings back everything, click one more time and it brings only that. So only decals, only blueprints, only making ofs, everything again, hit making of again. So all of the, every tutorial page, once you select your movie, you scroll down, you'll have this also. Uh, well, there's two things. There's, I kind of bypassed uh, one important thing. So there's a speed index that we'll get to in, in a little while. Uh, not for resale, people. Um, most of you guys are good with this. Um, you know, I try to be nice. I, I'm not charging for my decals and blueprints. I don't want to start saying, oh, I'm going to sell them for $10 and whatever. And when I make a decal, it could sit on my desktop and do nothing. Or I always said from the beginning, because I've been sharing these for over 20 years, uh, you know, if I do it and it can benefit someone else, you know, for your own diorama to display your figures, that's really cool. But it's not cool to build a diorama with my decals and then sell it on eBay. That, I'm really not too happy with that. I know some people will do it regardless, but 99% of the people respect, you know, my wishes and and do that. So this is, you know, keep... Keep the love alive, people, and <laughs> and try not to resell my, the stuff you find on the, on the site. Um, then click image below. Obviously, the thing that's really cool is uh, that's it for the next video. We're going to get into the gallery more deeply. But uh, there's a visitor, visitor's diorama uh, gallery that I resubmitted. So if you build one of these, if you use my instructions, my decals, whatever, if you build one for yourself... Why not send it to me um, for your visitor's diorama where I would um, make a page in your name and then you can show the the other fans that uh, the instructions are not too complicated to follow and uh, that uh, this is the work that you did and you'll inspire other people to start joining the hobby and different things like that. So that's cool for that. Uh, below, if you like what you see, please share with your friends. This is the social media shares these share to your own sites these are not links to my facebook and twitter and all this so if you hit share you'll share to other people uh, from your own website and so on uh, so this we did the categories and then i'll go down into each category after so then you scroll down all of these things and then at the end this bottom part is the same that's in all the other section most recent posts this is the actual links to my social media thing so my personal page this is the diorama workshop page where, where only diorama workshop stuff celebration fan club for the um, diorama builders if you want to join the fan club this is the link diorama workshop twitter if you don't have facebook diorama workshop videos and a uh, youtube channel and then instagram pics where i put like some silly things sometimes from time to time and then news archives select the month that you want to visit see uh, different posts and then
category shortcuts, the same thing. If you want to see blueprints from episode 4, episode 5, episode 2, this is kind of a speed index, but it doesn't have sort of like the descriptions of each movie and different things like that. So, But it is a, a good way to see the things. So now let's get in a little bit more in depth of each of these um, categories that you that you see. So the first category, let's go with blueprints since it's the first one there. So let's click a button like that. So then we'll go click on the blueprint, click the link. So this is how all blueprints are listed over here. So you have the feature, right? Blueprint download, that's simple enough. Here's a decal, it's a crew build from Celebration 2005. So this indicates this red decal or stamp indicates that this blueprint was used at our Celebration Diorama workshop of 2005. So you'll be building the exact same thing that the fans built at the convention. So you can continue your adventures. If you already started building, if you were at the show with us, you can continue your adventure or you can start a whole new adventure with what you're doing. So here's a brief description of the year and where it was, the convention. And then here is the title. And here's where it gets fun. So you have a tutorial, obviously, blueprints, Death Star, Large Blast Door, your description. So here's an image just for you to see what the what it is, the blue what the blueprint looks like. So you click on that, and this shows you basically as seen at Star Wars Celebration 3, blah blah blah. This is what the large blast door is, and you have the dimensions and how it all fits together and all that. So this is more sort of like a you know, to look nice on the web and whatever, but this is not what you would necessarily use to do the build. So if you want to build this and you want to download, so what you do is you close this, and this is what I added on the site. So this is the same for the decals uh, as the blueprints. I created these PDF files, okay? So what it does is before you used to save each individually as JPEGs, not only did it not print properly, uh, depending on person's printer and all that. In the PDF form, it guarantees that your images and blueprints and decals will be exactly the same size that mine were. And it groups everything together in kind of like a little catalog, like a little booklet. And so if you click on here to download, this opens up the PDF. So it's going to load a little bit. And here we go. So here's you the page one. So when you print it, these are all on 8 by 11 pages. So when you print it, this is the, the large blast door. It contains one diorama blueprint page. So that's a very simple one. Oh, almost full. I don't know what that happened there. Some error message. I hope it's still recording. <laughs> It still says it's recording, but anyhow. So, uh, this uh, blast door contains this blueprint. So, this is the exact blueprint that you would be printing at home. So, if you print it in black ink, that's fine if you don't have a color printer, but most people have color printers by now, but it, does, it doesn't matter. You can print it in grayscale. It has all of the dimensions and all the different things like that. So, all you have to do is you have to go, depending on your screen either you right click on this and do a save as but you can do a download here or print uh i have a print icon i could print directly from here or i can download it using this thing and then you do save as and then in the like if i if i do this download what's it going to do here it's going to show me this oh it's only if i want to print or different things okay i'm going to cancel that okay but when you go to print it if I want to print from here, this is what I wanted to show you. Okay. So these windows change basically based on different things, but you want to, it's US letter, obviously. And what you don't want to do is you don't want to click fit to page. Okay. You want to leave it a hundred percent scale as is. You might lose a little bit of the sides, which is fine, but all of the important details, I've placed it so that it's cropped properly. So that's what uh, you would do. So you print it the sa the right ratio, no fit to page. <coughs> you could do center, but 
don't don't scale it down to to fit the print okay so where's my how do I close this where's my cancel oh cancel there we go <laughs> you think I never did this before okay so I'll close this uh, PDF because it opened it right over here there we go okay so that's what it looks like your PDF so you can download that and then if you scroll down then you have all these cool information, all the links, blueprints, decals, video making, uh, um, all these things here. My email, if you want to send me an email. And then if you already built the diorama, the links for the visitor submission info page, all the things. Again, not for resale. Please abide by my rules. And uh, then the link for the official Diorama Builders fan club if uh, you want to join that. And then at the bottom, all the different things that I explained to you already all the social media links news archives category shortcut etc so this is what blueprints look like so if i go now back one i should go back to here we go now let's go to decals right so if i click decals and then you say okay what decal do i want to do i want to do the decals for say the Death Star basic halls. So I'll click on that. And it'll bring me to the decals page now. This is what all the decals page look like. Again, the feature image at the top, decal downloads, Death Star basic hall. This is the title, what convention it is. This is, again, this has the stamp, uh, crew build. Oh, here, I don't know if you can see in the corner there, you have a little heart that shows up when you scroll and you can like click on the heart to love the 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 page and and share share your love and um so this is what this looks like and then if you scroll down just like the blueprints the same principle this is your sort of like miniature thumbnail gallery preview of what it looks like so you can click on it to make, see it bigger so you see okay this is page 1 that's cool then you see all the different variations, some with, this one has red, this one has a red thing. These are all taken from the movie. I did freeze frames of the movie in the hallways and then it like matched them to be very screen accurate. So you all, all have these variation of um, decals for the Death Star and then some like little repeats over here for detailing. So this shows you what it looks like. Now, again, this stamp, what I was saying, this is the exact same decals that were used at Celebration 2005. So that's what's cool about these. You can't find it, anything else on the internet because we designed the, con the convention. That's how we're able to share these official convention items with you guys here at dioramaworkshop.com. Now, once you're printed, if you say, okay, I want to build this, then you click on the PDF. Now, again, it, depending on the amount of pages, can vary from one decal to the other one, but it groups all the decals together. So when you print them, it's like a little booklet, a little catalog. You can obviously print 10 times page two instead of printing one of each. But this one, if you look at the cover page, Dario decals, PDF, and then it'll show you this download contains 15 letter size decals. So then it shows you all of the 15 kind of like preview. And so this is kind of neat. And so then these are the actual decals that you, that you see. This is what the decal sheets look like, right? So those are the neons. And then this is part of the panels. And, you know, obviously you would cut through here simply cut where the arrows are pointing if you want to like separate and the thing with the Death Star which is fun is that it's like Lego so you can basically if you only want to use one strip of this take this strip put it next to it and then you just like build the, the Death Star the way that you want your imagination to be so for the decals the same thing it's free please don't sell them please don't make a diorama and then sell it use it for your own personal use and uh that'll be enough for me that's all i ask and so here is your download here's your print directly so this is what the pdfs look like so all the decals in the future are going to look like this moving on moving forward so 
as we, as I put new scenes and new making ofs, then the decals that require, require or the making ofs that require decals, the decals should become available for you guys. There's some making ofs that don't have the decals yet, or the decals that are there that don't have the making ofs yet. For example, the moisture evaporator here, I don't have um, that. The Death Star console, I don't have the making of for that yet. Leia's Secret Plants, I don't have the making of. I have the making ofs in my computer, but I just have to like reformat them for the new site design, and they will be coming up eventually in the coming weeks and stuff, so that down the road, everything that I have on my computer that used to be in Yum Yum's universe will be on this site, then you won't have to ping pong between the other sides, the two sites or whatnot, and this will all be in higher resolution and, and whatnot. So, so if we were looking at the Death Star um, basic hallway before. So, see if you go and let me click on making of it, it'll make things easier there. So then I sorted, I went from twenty to six, so I can find it easier. Here's the basic hallway. So if I click on that, then it'll bring me to the step-by-step -step instructions. So again, the rating, this is a Child C, Padawan, five years and over, Celebration 3, Star Wars, Death Star Basic Hallway, the stamp shows you that this was, in fact, an official crew build. And so then you have the tutorial of each step-by-step. -step. If you click on the image, it shows you take the photo, take the DC fix, peel it, do your floor for your Death Star, then print out the decals, cut them out, then cut some foam core. I like to use black foam core for Death Star. And then you place the decals like that. And then you cut, trim the excess, and then you have your wall like this. And then you glue it onto your floor. And then you can add some accessory tubes. This is a small round wall. This is the big round wall. You don't need to put it if you don't want to, but in the movie there are these things and because it's like Lego, this is the width of two panels. So you could put it between these two panels or these two panels and then put this one, put another one here if you wanted. It's up to your imagination in order to place them where where you want. You have specific tutorials for these though that you can look at another time. And then this is for the ceiling, so the little strips, how to cut, place the ceiling. And then this is what it looks like when it's all finished for your basic thing. Here's the arch arch wall, which is a uh, accessory option that you can build as well. And then it shows you at the top, here's a large blast door. This is another accessory option that you can that you can build. So, see, it's kind of like Lego, and all the different place, pieces are available separately. <laughs> well, they're not for sale separately, they're, they're for free, but you can build them all available in separate instructions and different things. You, you understand what I'm talking about. So, that's the cool thing about Death Star. So, anyhow, if I close this, this shows you how, because this had only 18 steps or 20 steps, I put them two by two, side by side like this. Then it shows you a brief description created in, this was created in 2005 for the convention. Speed index again, blah, 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 blah. And then uh, all the different links, everything else is the same. Uh, if you go to a more elaborate uh, example, if I click on here, the, this one I just did, 300 steps. This is the new way that I'm going to be putting the more advanced um, diorama uh, making ofs. So this is the, it's loading because there's 300 pictures. <coughs> excuse moi So this is, again, the feature image at the top. It gives you all the, basically shows you what you're building. And in this case, you have all the steps. I removed the captions from below so that it's cleaner and you can see, you know, steps one, two, three, four, five. And then you can scroll down. Oh, crap. Okay, uh, <laughs> we're back. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, my computer ran out of memory and uh, the recording just stopped <laughs> in the middle of my sentence. So here we are uh, back uh, where we were <laughs> before we crashed. So, okay. 
Now, what we were talking about was the making of section, and uh, what I wanted to say is that when the making of is going to be more than 20 or 30 steps, uh, we're going to be collapsing them, or I'm going to be collapsing, collapsing them into gallery mode like this for the main page. So you're still going to have the in the beginning here the the feature image with the description the title if it's part of the celebration then it'll have the tag red tag on it um and then what you have is a small description you have this button here click for full size deluxe instructions i'll show you that in a minute after i scroll down but you, this is the option if you want to build this is where you want to click uh for the moment before you want to build if you're on the fence you can uh, um, look at all of these images in gallery form like this so this shows you every single photo that's in this particular step-by-step -step instruction I'm scrolling fast now and um, again like the other uh, photos from the either the galleries or the other pages uh, any picture can be uh, clicked on and you see it in full size on your screen you can use the arrows to go to next and go to back this shows you all the different steps see how all the instructions and um, if I close this you can see that I removed the captions underneath to make it more like clean rows and stuff like this if you hover on your desktop and on your I don't think it works on the phone and your iPad because it's your fingers that uh, will activate the link instead of a, a rollover um, but you can see the captions that you will find in the HD full size um, instructions on the uh, from the next pages. So that is what you see these boxes popping up here with text. So you can scroll all the way down and see till the last photo. So this is 245. Um, this has a little explanation uh, created April 2005 for the convention welcome uh, docking bay blah 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 here's the same link over here that you had at the top so that you can decide either at the bottom or not member of the official fan club if you haven't joined yet and different things like that so once you see all of these photos and you say okay I think I'm gonna build that then you can either click at the top or here so when you click on this then it brings you to the full size instructions which is this so what this does is it gives you 20 images per um, page and uh, you have over here step number one and you have the description here uh, blah 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 and uh, this it goes on and on step number two step number three four five so this is all how you work um, you follow my instructions with the dimensions. If you have a blueprint available for this, then it'll just repeat the dimensions that are written in these uh, making ofs, and it'll help you follow easier. Some of these will have on the YouTube channel, um, eventually, I, my goal is to have a video for every making of but the earlier videos that I didn't film obviously will not have it but the ideally if you find this confusing and complicated to just see it in sort of like still photo mode the video making of will be available that you can follow on the YouTube channel and make it easier for you to see how things go so if we scroll down 18 19 20 and we come down to the bottom after 20 images, we have the back and next 20 of the making of instructions. So click here. This will bring you to steps 21, 22, 23, 24, etc. Until you reach the whole 200 images with 20 per page. So this explains to you how everything works for recreating my diorama in your own home now these scenes like this one that has um uh decals the decals usually are available in um as free decals that you can uh, uh, download in the same uh, tutorial section you just have to go at the beginning and click on decal in order to find it or you go into 
where I think we're pretty much ready to go into the speed index, which is the place that will facilitate you finding what's available for your specific diorama. So once you uh, get to the bottom of this one, then it's just the same thing, next, back, etc. So this, you know, pretty much you see everything that's laid out in these uh, tutorial um, uh, making of step-by-step -step instructions. The only thing we haven't gone to is if I go back to here and then uh, click on the category of materials list. There's only one that's done. So this will show you eventually I'll have more of these, but it's just basically a small little image for you to um, know what materials that you need in order to build your scene. So in order to build the Death Star basic wall panels, if you click on this, it'll get bigger. You need black and white foam core, hot glue, utility knife, ruler, pencil, blah, blah, blah. And if you want to um, bring this to the store, you can click on this PDF here, and then you'll have an 8 by 11 paper that you could print at home and then bring it with you to the store. So then you can just check off and see like, okay, I got this, I got this, I got this, I'm missing this and, and so on. And so this will be just one way for you to, you know, make your list easier for your shopping. And at the same time, you can like store it and like collect these like little cards and say like, okay, I built this one, I built the, the, the docking bay or, or whatnot. So this is what uh, goes on with the material list. So the last thing we have to do uh, for the uh, tutorial menu is this is uh, thanks to my friend Agatha Vincent who suggested I do this because he said it would be way too complicated if uh, I didn't have this. So I created what's called a speed index. Now what this does is that on one single page you're able to scroll down, find the movie that you want to work on, okay? So if you want to create a diorama from The Phantom Menace, or if you want to create a, doc, a, a diorama from Attack of the Clones, or New Hope, Empire Strikes Back, this is where you look. So you find the movie that you want to build in, or from, and then say that we did, like, we the Falcon there. So if you go to... Uh, the diorama is listed here. And then in these columns, making ofs, this tells you if a making of is available for this specific uh, diorama at this time, or if it's not by writing sorry, coming soon or whatnot. Uh, column for decals, column for blueprints, column for videos, if they're available in YouTube channel, and calling for uh, column for materials. So if you go, say, to this one, Death Star Blast Door, the small blast door, the asterisk and C3, what's in red with the numbers, this means that it's from Celebration 3. So this is the same build as fans used at uh, and created at Celebration 3. So this small blast door has making ofs, has decals, has blueprints available, but no video and no material list so far. So these are speed links because it's speed index, obviously. So if I click on making of, then it will bring me to the making of this specific diorama that I'm making. So this, you see the small blast doors and it has all the making ofs that we want to follow step by step, showing you how everything is done. Now, these speed index links open in a separate window, so you can close this window and it brings you back to the speed index so you don't have to hit back all the time. So then the next thing we want is decals for small blast doors. It says, yes, they are available. So I go here and then I would get my decals page and see that for this build, these are the four decals that I need and they are available in the PDF catalog so you just click again on the PDF and then this will open the PDF print for this small blast door contains four letter size decal sheets and then you see them over here these are the full size sheets that you print on your 
computer paper. Uh, I like to use for my decals uh, full-size label sheets, uh, which have a peel back and the glue is already stuck on it and uh, it's more like a real sticker and uh, it saves you from having to use glue stick or whatever whatever you do never use a hot glue on decals you're going to get all kinds of bubbles and it's going to look a big mess so never do that so this is uh, your decals how you do that and then i'll close this it brings me back to my oh over here this is my <laughs> that was the YouTube channel. Um, so blast doors. And then next says blueprints are available. So if I click yes, it should bring me to the blueprints. And ta-da, here we are. This is the small blast door. And the same thing as the decals. You have the image here if you want to see what they look like. That's nice. Close that. And then you scroll down. And then here is your PDF. Click on that opens the little printable catalog for the blueprints and here we go here is the one page it says it contains one page and there you have it so you have all the dimensions here 15 uh, by 15.5 centimeters square a apply your decals to two squares and then here c insert a b b a and so in the step-by-step -step instructions this helps you follow that and then it shows you also where to put the decals and different things like that so the three of them work in tandem together so eventually all five would be nice if you want to watch a video instead of the step-by-step -step photos if a video is available here Mostly, uh, you don't see any now, but in Empire Strikes Back, we did lots of videos for uh, the Hoth build. So once I start putting those back on, you'll see uh, video links on YouTube. They're already on the YouTube channel. I, d I just didn't put the links uh, embedded and into the website here. But uh, yeah, so that's going to be the plan in the f every every new vi uh, diorama starting from today, moving forward, we'll have a video uh, for it. And so, yeah, so this is how the speed index works. So you're able to see whatever you select. You see, yes, there's a making of. Yes, are there decals available for it? Are there blueprints? Sorry, yes, sorry, yes, 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 sorry, sorry, etc. So this gets, every time I put either a making of, a decal, a blueprint, a video or material, this uh, page here gets updated. And this is how... Uh, this will work. You can put uh, comments, leave your comments, obviously. Uh, I always like to hear uh, your feedback. And um, so that's it, that's Speed Index. And with that, the tutorial section is pretty much done. So I think you're gonna be getting a lot of use from it because it's what most people will be coming to the site to do, to build their um, dioramas. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, little guide for tutorials menu. Uh, make sure to subscribe if you want to be uh, advised automatically on when I post new videos on the YouTube channel. And now let's move on. The next video will be about uh, the gallery section. And so let's uh, do that now, okay?